Hello guys. Today I am going to discuss to you the relations on sets. All right? Our objective for this topic illustrate and differentiate join from disjoint sets. Number 2, illustrate and differentiate equal from equivalent sets or vice versa. Number three, define and illustrate universal set and subset. Number four, express the given elements of any set in a Venn diagram. And last, number five, demonstrate positivity in doing the assigned task for better output. Now, what are the different relations between sets? First, we have here equal sets and equivalent sets. What is equal sets? Two or more sets with exactly the same elements. For example, R is a set of M, E, A, N. Set M is a set of A, M, E, N. All right? So what did you notice about these two sets R and M? Set R has M as an element just like M, no? set R has E as an element, likewise set M. Set R has A as an element, set M has A too. And set R has N as an element, then set M has uh, N too. All right? So therefore, they are uh, equal sets. These two sets R and M are equal sets. Why? Because they have exactly the same elements. All right? So set R and set M are equal sets. No? All right. So next. Equivalent sets. Two or more sets with the same number of elements. Now, remember, we have here the keywords with the same number of elements. Just like what? Uh, just like uh, the other one, which is equal sets. It has what? Uh, keyword. What is the keywords? With exactly the same elements. Okay? So, magkakamukha po yung uh, elements or uh, pareho po talaga. So, set R, it has M just like that. Uh, the set M has M2. Ganun. All right. So let us let us continue the equivalent set. Now the the what you call this? Keywords with the same number of elements. Take a look. We have set A is one, two, three. So these are the elements of set A. B has the elements T R I. Now Pansinin niya hindi po magkamukha ang elements. Okay? So set A, the elements are numbers, while the elements of set B are letters. So they do not have the same elements, but rather they have the same number of elements. Alright? So all you have to do is count the elements of set A, 1, 2, 3. The, number, uh, the set B, count it also. One, two, three. So set, sets A and B are equivalent sets because the number of their elements are the same or the cardinality of the two sets are equal. So what is the cardinality of sets or the, the number of elements of this set A has three. Likewise, this set B, no? Uh, the number of its element is elements rather is three also. Okay, let us continue. Now, join set number two. Join sets and this join sets. Join and this join sets. No, let's start with this join sets. Join sets are two or more sets with common elements. The the keyword here is common. No. With common, I'm sorry, with common elements. Okay? So, let's see. Example, set S 
it has two, four, six, eight. Set M, it has one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Now, what did you notice about these two sets, uh, S and M? They have the same uh, elements, just like this. Two, set S has two, set M has two. No? Set S has four, set M has four, two. Okay? So, meron pong elements na magkapareho sa kanilang dalawang sets. Okay po? Two and four. So, therefore, these joint sets, no, are what? These two sets are joint sets because they have common elements. So, what are their common elements? These are two and four. Next. Uh, before the, uh, no, before the disjoint set, let us uh, study first about the John Venn. About John Venn. Understanding the Venn diagram, the English logician John Venn popularized the diagram in the 1880s. He called them Eulerian circles after the Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler who created similar diagrams in the 1700s. So Venn diagram is a diagram representing mathematical or logical sets pictorially as circles or closed curves with an enclosing rectangle. And that rectangle is what we call the universal set. Now, common elements of the set, then we have common elements, you know, of the set being represented by the areas of overlapping or overlap among the circles. So meaning to say, this rectangle stands for, this rectangle stands for the universal set. Just like the, the universe, no? Just like the universe, okay? So from that universe, there are families. In every set of family, no, uh, parang yung bahay, yan pong bahay ay tumata yung set, yun naman po yung bilog. Okay po? So from that uh, house, no, um, may mga family dyan or members of the fam family. Naintindihan? Okay, so ipag pagpalagay natin yung mga bahay na yan, yan po yung mga sets, yan po yung mga circles. Bawat bahay ay may mga uh, nakatira no pamilya tapos uh, syempre no may mga tao diyan sila po yung magsisilbing elements ng bahay okay po so this one what is universal set is a set of all elements of all related sets it is usually denoted by the symbol u okay so nakita niyo kanina we have rectangle then i put uh, U or the capital U to stand what? To stand what? A uh, universal set. Ayan. So we have here now U. No? Okay. And we have the sets here. Set A and set B. Alright. Now what is the purpose of this? No? So that we can compare no? easily the sets no? just like set A with set B or we can easily compare the two sets no, to the universe, just like that, vice versa. Next, let's see now. We have S or set S contains 6, 8, no, 2, and 4. So 2, 4, 6, 8. Those are elements of set S. Uh, how about this one, set M? What are the elements of this set M? 1, Two, we have here one, two, three, four, and five. So those are the elements of set M. Now, take a look. We have here the two circles S and M. No, they overlap. So magkapatong po. Then meaning to say these two and four are common to both sets. No, the two is what. Uh, element of S, likewise M. 
4 is also an element of set S, likewise M. So meaning to say this is their intersection. This is their common element. Okay? So sets S and M are joint sets. No? Why? Because they have common elements. What are their common elements? These are 2 and 4. Can you follow? All right. So this is the Venn diagram of joint set. All right? So magkapatong po yan kapag joint set. Kapag disjoint po, yan po ay magkahiwalay. Pero later on. So drawing Venn diagram overlapping sets. No? So let you... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And let, uh, we have here, set A, 1, 2, 5, 7, and set B, 8, 9, 5, 7. Take a look. We have set A contains uh, elements 1, 2, 5, 7. Set B contains the elements 5, 7, 8, and 9. So nag-overlap ulit. Uh, merong common po yung elements na 5 and 7. Okay? So, how about this 3 and 4? Uh, 3, 4, and 6. So, those are not uh, are not elements of both sets A and B. Okay? These are only elements of set U. No? Aside from the element of Aside from the elements of A and B are also elements of set U. So, what are the elements of all, uh, what are the elements of this universal set? We have, we will give it completely 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All of these are elements of the universal set. Hmm? Okay, so A, uh, what are the elements of set A only? 1 and 2. What are the elements of set B only? 8 and 9. What are the elements which are common to sets A and B? 5 and 7. Okay? So, ano yung mga elements na wala sa set wala sa sets A and B? These are 3, 4, and 6. Okay? Next, this join set. So after the join set, here we go. We have this join sets. So what is this join sets? Are two or more sets with no common elements. Just like this. P is a set of 2, 3, and 5. Q, A, B, C, D. Alright? So pansinin ninyo, no? yung set P, no? numbers po yung elements niya. These are 2, 3, and 5. Set Q, uh, set Q, the elements are letters. These are the lowercase letter A, B, C, and D. Okay? So, wala pong magkapareho. There is no common element. There, there is no common element or there is no common elements. Is that clear? So, we have here, we can say now that sets P and Q are disjoint set because the two sets do not have common element or elements. So, tignan nyo naman po yung kanyang Venn diagram. Ganito po, ganito po yung kanyang Venn diagram. So, P and Q are disjoint sets because no, they have no common elements. They have no common elements. Okay? Yan. So, universal set, we have here the set P. 1, 1, 3, 5. Set Q, A, B, C, D. So, magkahiwalay po sila. So, this join meaning to say, no, they are separated. Naintindihan? Hindi po sila nag-overlap or they do not touch its other. They do not touch each other. Okay? Next. Subset, no? Huh? If every element of a set A is an element of set B, then set A is a subset of set B. Alright? So, bawat elements ng set A ay elements din ng set B. If this will be the case, no, in symbol, A is a subset of B. We say that 
A is a subset of B. This is the symbol. A, even this one only, you can uh, read. So A or set A is a subset of B. So this is the, the statement, right? So let's see. Let's go back. A is a subset of B or set A is a subset of B or A is contained in set B. Example, we have here. A is a set of 1, 3, 5. B is a set of 3, 5, 1. Therefore, these two sets are equal sets. Why? Why? The elements of set A, which, uh, the elements of set A are 3, 1, and 5. Pareho po sa set B. 3, 5, and 1. Therefore, these two sets are equal sets. Set A is equal to B. This is the symbol. A is equal to B. Or we can say that B is equal to A. If and only if A is a subset of B. And of course, B is a subset of A. Remember, if and only if, no, uh, they have equal elements. They have the same and equal elements. The same number. The same number, we have set A, 1, 2, 3. Tatlo po ang elements. Uh, set B, 1, 2, 3. Tatlo rin po. Then, uh, they have exactly the same elements. One, set A has one, set B has one. Set A has three, set B has three. Set A has five, likewise, set B has five. So therefore, they are equal. If this will be the case, the two sets A and B are equal. A is equal to B or B is equal to A. If this will be the case, A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A, vice versa. Alright? So, this implies that an empty set is a subset of every set. What does it mean? Uh, an empty set is a subset of every set. Or, empty set is a subset of any set. Okay? So, yung empty set daw ay laging kasama ng kahit anong set. Can you follow? Yan. Kung isa-isahin ninyo yung subset, no? Uh, laging kasama po yung empty. Let us continue. Also, if every element of A is an element of B, but B has at least one element, so hindi bababa ng isa? So, pwedeng isa, dalawa, tatlo? No? Ang elements na uh, wala si A. Okay? So, lahat ng elements ng A ay elements ng B. Pero, nasobrahan po ng isa, dalawa, tatlo ang elements na wala si A na hindi katulad sa kanya. So, yun po yung ibig niya sabihin. Also, if, also, every element, if every element of A is an element of B but B has at least one element which is not in set A, then a is a proper subset of B. In symbol, A, it looks like this. No? Uh, parang C, no? parang letter C lang po. So, that is, uh, A is a proper subset of B. So, ganun po ang basa nun. So, remember we have here, proper subset A, this is the symbol. A is a proper subset B. A a set A is a proper subset of B if A is a subset of B. And this is A is not equal to B. Diba? So, they are not, they are not equal. Naintindihan? They are not equal. Again, a set A is a proper subset of B if A is a subset of B and A is not equal. This is the symbol of is not equal. There is a slash to negate the uh, equality. So, magiging not equal na po siya. So, A is not 
equal. Yan po yung base niya. A is not equal to B. For example, A is a set of 1, 3, 5. B is a set of 3, 5, 1, 7. So merong isang, ano, isang element na wala si A. So therefore, A is a proper subset of B and read as A is a proper subset of B. Very easy. Also, B is a set of 3, 5, 1, 7. Binalitad ko po ah. And A is the set of 1, 3, 5. In this case, or if uh, this will be the case, 7 is not an element of set A, this one. If this, uh, if this will be the case, 7 is not an element of set A, then we can say that B is not a proper subset of A. So read us, set B is not a proper subset. I will include the proper subset here. Okay? There is a typographical error. Okay? So, set B is not a proper subset of set A. So, proper should be in, uh, should be uh, inserted. Okay? Between A and subset. All right. Now, number three, universal set and subset. Universal set refers to the set containing the elements of all sets being considered in a certain discussion. So, nasabi ko na kanina, yung universal set natin, yun po yung rectangle natin. Yan po yung universe. Okay? Dito sa mundo na ating kinagagalawan, yan po yung ating universe. Plus the, uh, plus the, the sets. Yung bawat family or yung bawat bahay na may mga family po, yun po yung mga tumatayong bilang uh, sets. Naintindihan? So, consider A is a set of 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. B is a set of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And C, 1, 4, and 9. The possible universal set is U. No, it's a set of X such that X are counting numbers less than or equal to 10. So, come to think of it. So, what are the elements less than 10? So, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or, there is a or here. No? Or equal to 10. So, meaning to say, uh, the number 10 is included no? from a group or from a set of numbers. Alright? So, in this example... Sets A, B, and C are all subsets of U. So, subset po lahat ng U ang sets A, B, and C. Tandaan ninyo yung sinabi ko kanina, lahat ng elements ng A, B, C ay pag-aari ng universal set. So, those are the idea. No? In this example, sets A, B, and C are all subsets of the universal set. Ayan. Kahit pa pag-aari ni A yan, no? pag-aari din ng universal. Kasi nga, nasa loob siya ng rectangle. Okay? Pag-aari ni B ay pag-aari din ni universal set. C, pag-aari ni C na elements na 1, 4, and 9 ay pag-aari din ng universal set. Okay? Sana po naintindihan. Example, let U. These are the elements of U. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. A, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. B, 1, 3, 5, 7. We can say that A and B are what? Proper subset of U. Okay? Why? Because U has elements which are not in A. Take a look. What are the elements of A? So, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, what are the elements which are not in A? These are 1, 3, 5, 7. Alright? So, therefore, that A is a proper, is what? It's a proper subset of U. Alright? Then, how about this B? B contains what? 1, 3, 5, 7. All of these are found at the universal set. So, 1, 3, 5, and 7. 
there are other elements of u which are not found at set b okay so ito po yun because you has elements which are not in a and also in b in symbol a is a proper subset of u and also b is a proper subset of u na wala po yung ano yung uh, proper subset symbol all right so, there must be a proper subset symbol here. It looks like this. No? Okay, so that is uh, one of my typographical error again. But anyway, no? So, that is very easy. Example number two. Set, uh, let u, again, let u, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Uh, set c, 1, 4, and 9. The question is, the set C is a subset of U? The answer is no. Why? Because set C has an element which is which is not found in U. So what is this? What element is this? Okay, and that is nine. Yes, that is nine. Okay, so one four can be found at the universal set. So this this one we have here one, we have here four. The nine of C itself no is not found at the universal set. Okay, so we cannot say that uh, set C is a subset of U. Is it clear? All right, continue. No, for C to be subset of U, all its elements must be contained in U. So, dapat po lahat ng elements ng C ay nandun sa U. Pero, since uh, merong elements si C na wala sa U, no, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na uh, proper subset siya. Clear? Example number three. What are the subsets of M? A, B. Yan. So, example number three. What are the subsets of set M? If the elements are A, B. How many subsets are there? So, this one. Let's see. Subset of M. S, T, R. We have S, T. No? So, we have S one at a time. S, tapos T, comma, tapos two at a time, or the given set itself. S, T, comma, plus the empty set. So, how many subsets does set m has it has four subset there are four subsets from this set m with two elements again if you are going to get the subsets of a set all you have to do is uh, write uh, the elements no one at a time so s comma t comma tapos uh, the given, yung bigay na L ng set, ST, pagsamayin ninyo, that is two at a time, then comma, tapos uh, idagdag ninyo yung uh, walang laman, empty set. Kaya yung sinabi niya kanina, uh, uh, empty set is a subset of any set. Kahit anong set po ay kasama or kabilang lagi ang empty set as a subset. That's why 4 po ang subset ng set M with two elements. Again, take note that an empty set is a subset of every set or any set. Next, number 4. Set C, we have here diamond, then heart. We have uh, what you call this in... Uh, Cards or playing cards, we have here flower and spade. Okay, set D, we have diamond, then we have uh triangle, we have heart, we have uh, what we call this a uh, flower and a spade. Now, meron bang elements na magkapareho sa kanilang dalawa? Diamond, yes, magkapareho, heart, magkapareho, uh, flower, flower. Spade, spade. Tama. Okay. So, all the elements of set C are also elements of set D. They are not equal. Okay? They are not 
equal. They are not equal or they are not equal. So set C is a subset of another set if all elements of set C are elements of set D. Then subset relationship is denoted as C is a proper subset of D. But D is not a proper subset of C. Now we have here, it looks like letter C, the proper subset plus this slash. No? Uh, this is slash no? indicate that it negates the the proper subset of it so that's why it's not no we use the word not okay so set d is not a proper subset of c why no uh there is an element which is triangle no which is not found in c in other words the set C is contained inside the set, the set D. So all the elements of set C are found inside the set D. Clear? Lahat ng elements ng set C ay matatagpuan or makikita sa set D. Pero hindi lahat ng elements ng set D ay makikita sa set C. Kulang po. Wala siyang rectangle. Ah. Uh, what do you call that? Triangle. Next, there are two ways in getting the subsets of a set. That is answerable by the question. No? Number one, how many subsets are there in any given set? So that is the first question. If you are going to get the subset, all you have to do is list down all the elements. Uh, yes, uh, all the subsets of the given set. We have the empty set, one at, one at a time, two at a time, three at a time. No, depends on the given number of elements. Okay? So, that's why, number one, how many subsets are there in any given set? Number two question, what are the subsets of the given sets? And that's the time you're going to um, solve. No? Applying, a short, uh, applying the formula, and this is under what? N at uh, 2 to the N. It's later on, okay? How about proper subset? How to get? Do not include the given set and the null set, meaning minus two from the number or from the number answer of subsets, and that is the number answer for a proper subset of a set. Okay, I hope na intindihan po niyo. Okay, dun sa proper subset po kapag kinuha niyo yung sagot minus two lang. Okay? Kapag inisa-isa nyo naman po yung kanyang subset, huwag nyo pong isasama yung original na set at saka yung empty. Yun na po yung proper subset. Okay? So let's see later on. Ito na po. Let's see. Example. List down all the subsets of set A. Okay? It has X and Y as elements. Okay? Solution. The subset of set A are empty. Ayan, siyempre, empty. Yung walang laman po. Tapos, X, one at a time. Y din po, one at a time pa rin. Then, two at a time. The original elements or the set itself, no? Or the given set. So, the subsets of set a, R, M, T, X, Y, X, Y. Count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Apat po. Okay? So, there are four elements. Next. How about the proper subset? So, what are the proper subset? One at a time only. So, X and Y. So, pansinin niya hindi, hindi niya hindi niya kinuha or hindi niya ibinigay yung empty set. Hindi rin po niya ibinigay yung uh, given set na XY. Yan. So, yun po yung note ko kanina. No? Hindi po kasali ang empty at saka the given set. So, one at a time lang po, yan lang po. So, there are two proper subset. Kung for itong ano, subset natin, apat, minus two lang po. Yan na po yung proper subset. Two. Dalawa ang sagot. Okay? Four dun sa subset, sa proper subset, minus two, two. Naintindihan? Another example. 
Place down all the subsets of set B. It has rectangle, triangle, and circle. Tatlo na po ang elements natin this time. The subset of set B are empty. Yan, kasama pa rin ang empty. Rectangle, triangle, one at a time, circle. So, inisa-isa natin yung uh, mga figures. no? So, we have here a rectangle, a triangle, circle. One at a time po yan. Ngayon naman, igdadalawa, two at a time. Rectangle, ang combination ng rectangle with uh, a triangle. Then next, a rectangle with the combination no, circle. Then last, na uh, two at a time. Rect, uh, triangle and circle. Then, lastly, three at a time. This is the original set or the given set. Right? So, rectangle, uh, triangle, and circle. Bilangin niyo po ilan lahat ang, L, uh, ilan lahat ang subsets ng set B. One, one, two, three, four, five, 6, 7, 8. Walo po. How about the proper subset? The proper subsets are rectangle, one at a time, uh, triangle, circle, tapos two at a time, uh, rectangle and this, uh, ito pa yung combination, rectangle and triangle, tapos the combination, rectangle and circle, and last combination, two at a time, uh, triangle and circle. Bilangin ninyo, one, two, three, four, five, six. Anim po. Walo dun sa subset natin, sa set B, minus two, anim lang po. Anong tinanggal natin? Yun po yung empty set and the original set. Or the given set. Okay, hindi po kasali sa proper subset ang empty at saka yung given set. Kung tatlong elements po yan, hindi kasali sa, sa huli. Sa subset lang po kasali. Okay? Now, another way no, to get the subset. And this time, all you have to do is, all you have to do is what? Uh, count, no? get the number how many subsets are there in set a set a contains x one element only and this is unit set okay so the formula we have here now the exponent uh, no, exponent with exponent 2 to the n where n is what the number of elements of a, uh, of the given set n is the number of elements of the given set And how about this 2? The 2 is constant. No? Hindi po nababago yan. Fix na po yung base. This is the base. The 2 is the base. And n is the exponent. I repeat. 2 is the base. And n is the exponent. The n is the number of element of the given set. Okay? So, n. The n or the exponent tells how many times the base to be multiplied by itself. Okay? So, and that is equal, copy the 2 as base, then, bilangin nyo po yung element ng set A, isa lang po, lagyan nyo lang ng 1. Or, pwede rin pong, uh, hindi na i-reflect yung 1. Because, uh, any number or 2, no? Uh, wala pong ano wala pong power or wala pong one as exponent no nasa isip lang natin po and that is what we call invisible exponent which is one so two remains two if it is three to the first power remains three just like that okay so two to the n the n is what we call the number of elements of the given set while the 2 is what you call the constant, which is the constant base, or the base is always there, no? Does not change. Naintindihan? Naintindihan po? Okay, so, where n is the number of elements, and 2 is the constant. Let us continue. 
Another example, we have here example number two, how many subsets are there in set A? The set A contains two elements, the X and Y. Now, applying the formula, we have here 2 to the N equals, replace the N with 2. Where do we get this 2? Ito po, bilangin nyo po yung elements ng set A. 1, 2. So, ilagay nyo po dito as a replacement of N. So, replace N with 2. No? So, 2 squared na po ang basa natin dyan. 2 squared, no? again, sabi ko kanina, the exponent tells how many times no? uh, we are going to multiply the, the, the base. No? So, again, the exponent tells how many times the base to be multiplied. And that is 2 times 2. Okay? 2 times 2. I-multiply nyo raw yung 2 na base ng dalawang beses. So, 2 times 2. Hindi po 2 times 2. Papunta sa itaas. Hindi po. Okay? So, 2 times 2. Dalawang 2. Sabi niya. So, that is equal to 4. Remember? When uh, n is the number of elements and 2 is the constant. Hindi po yun nababago. Okay? Example number 3. How many subsets are there in set A? Set A contains 3 elements. So, we have here x, y, and z. Let us apply again the formula. No? This is uh, under the exponent. Ano ngayon ang exponent natin? If there are three elements, of course, the exponent of base 2 is 3. So, 2 to the n, replace n with 3. Bilangin nyo po, 1, 2, 3. Tatlo po yung elements ng set A. So, meaning to say, no? again, the 3 or the exponent tells how many times the base, which is 2, being multiplied. So, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. 19 yan. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Okay? Do not multiply 2 times 3. Okay? That is wrong. So, the number of subsets no, of set A is 8. Okay? So, kapag tinanong what are the elements, uh, what are the subset of set A with 3 elements X, Y, and Z? Yun po yung ililista ninyo. Empty, tapos X, 1 at a time, Y, kama, Z, kama, then 2 at a time, X, Y, kama, then X, Z, kama, then Y, Z, kama, then give the given set x comma y comma c so bilangin niyo walo lahat po yun okay ganun lang po kadali now we have here the table uh, divided into four columns no? the first column is set the second number of elements in the original set list of subset and number of subset let's see uh, set a contains one element only this is a how, how many elements does this set A has? There is one element. Then, list of subset. What are the subset if uh, it has only one element, which is A? Empty plus yung A. There are two. Number of subset, two. Dalawa lang po, bilang nyo. Empty plus yung A. That is two subsets. Next, set B contains... Or containing A and B. There are two elements. So, number of elements in the original set, dalawa. List of subsets. So, empty. Then, one at a time, A. One at a time, B. Two at a time. Or the original uh, set given. So, bilangin nyo po. Apat po yan. One, two, three, four. Four subsets. Okay. Then, set C, tatlong elements. There are three elements. Okay? So, empty, one at a time, A, B, C, two at a time, A, B, A, C, B, C. Plus the original, uh, plus the original uh, elements, rather, of the given set. You count all the subsets, one, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8. Walo po. How about the, the number of subsets of this D? If D has uh, 4 elements, that is 2 to the 4th 
power. So all you have to do is multiply, no? Four times yung base na two. Two times two that is that is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is sixteen. So the answer must be sixteen. I'm sorry, lumipat sixteen. All right. So sixteen po ang sagot natin dito. Then E, uh, number of subset of this set C with five elements. So two to the fifth power, and that is two to the fifth power. Multiply the two into five times. Two times two, four times two, uh, eight times two, sixteen times two, thirty-two. Again, two times two, four times two, eight times two, sixteen times two, thirty-two. Clear? And that is very easy. All right. So, any question? Remember, there are two ways, no? In uh, getting the subset of what? Subset of a set, no? Uh, this is answerable by what? The question, how many subsets are there in any given set? So, when we say... How many subsets are there in any given set? All you have to do is uh, applying the 2 to the n power to get the number. Yes? To get the number. So whatever the product no, um, between the exponent and the base, uh, between the, what you call this? The, the, times no or how many times the base to be multiplied no depend on it okay and that is how many subsets are there in any given set okay apply only the two to the n power where n is the number of elements of the given set so you have to multiply the the base no based on its exponent if how many times if it is one no need to multiply no as is two if it is two two to the second power meaning to say you have to multiply two times two then two to the third all you have to do is multiply the two into three times okay so ganun lang it follows number two what are the subsets of the given set so when you say what are the subsets of the given set all you have to do is list down all the subsets no uh get the empty remember empty set is always a subset of any set clear and how about the proper subset how to get the proper subset no uh so you simply remove the the empty and the the given set no and that is the proper subset already clear so i hope this is clear no? okay so Sanan may natutunan kayo. Maraming salamat po. Uh, ito po ang inyong gagawin. Answer the given activity in the learning activity sheet. No? Uh, that is written activity number one or there's no number no, indicated. Activity because that is only one activity. So we will, sip, we will change only no? into three so change the activity no into 3 so that this will be our number 3 answer the given activity in the learning activity sheet week 3 so week 3 ang nakalagay diyan but that is week 1 pa lang po okay so i i check ko po no recheck natin Para that is week one, week one po yan. Okay, so that is week one. So, thank you guys, thank you, my dear student, and God bless. Sana may natutunan po kayo. Okay. Maraming salamat po. Paalam.